Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for hanging out with Tom and Steve. It's the uh, Steve Roberts Variety Show, we like to call it, uh, here on The Local Nobody Show. Nobody calls it the Steve Roberts Variety <laughs> Show, Tom. Everybody says that. <laughs> Everybody goes, that guy has a really good voice, oh, and they're never good. talking about me. Oh, yes. They are talking about you. The good-looking one. Yeah, that's what they mean. Yeah, the one with the hat and the headset. <laughs> hey, you know what the best part of my home remodeling has been? Um, let me guess. Um, think good and hard. What do you think? The, the fact that you're spending a ton of money? <laughs> no. Okay, what? The best part of it has been Mike Johnson from Pro Snow Removal. Really? And uh, landscaping, yes. It's a real accurate he, name. So he's been <laughs> removing the snow? You know, we, we got to work on his name. <laughs> yeah. But I'll tell you what, that guy is amazing. And his team. That has been the best part. No hassles. So, so, so wonderful. So, not that the name is confusing, but could you tell people what he's doing? Well, he's they're doing clueless. A hardscape in the back, because you know, all we had our, when we bought the house, it still had the builder steps on the back. You know, okay. the, the wooden ones that were all broken and everything. So, uh, you know, we had no place to sit. So he created a whole patio space, and everything's hardscaped, and we've got the concrete steps now. That I mean, it literally looks like a hotel in the back of my yard now. No kidding. Yeah, Kid- and in and out his team is wonderful his procedures and process he checked in not just because of me he does this with all his customers he, he calls and gives you updates on what's going on and contractors don't do that no, they, they, they go mia no. and, yeah. then, and then you're wondering what the heck happens so. oh man he is just I, I can't say enough about how be, because it's in such contrast to some of the other things i experienced yes, yes. and just to be clear folks this is not a paid endorsement no, not at all. <laughs> this is, this is tom talking about just uh, talking as a friend wow. just talking as a friend uh, yeah that, that is amazing so uh, yeah pro snow um, yeah. yeah, I guess was that his website? Pro Snow. Uh, yeah, I think pro, it's Pro go, Snow. Go Pro Snow. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I remember. Go, so, go uh, pro snow. so that's nice a, guy. That, that's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Okay, well, we'll get some pictures up on YouTube or there something. You, go. you know. All right. Next up, a uh, new person to the show. It's uh, Ruth Ann Raposa. She is the executive director of Elmcrest Children's Center. I'm glad we got another Italian on uh, with me here. So that's good. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Very good. Are you Italian? Did you marry Italian? I'm not. Italian. <laughs> I'm Thanks. not. She's one of my people, Tom. Well, not Italian. Not Italian. <laughs> Somehow she got the Italian yes. thing going. So that's good. Uh, what got you into being the um, executive director? What did you do beforehand? What's your sure. educational background? Sure. All that. So I uh, got my master's degree in social work. Okay. Uh, a few, few years ago, we'll say that. <laughs> yeah. My first job out of school was uh-huh. working as a family reunification specialist. I worked with children that were in places like Elmcrest to reunite them with their families. I would work with their families and do some of the work um, okay. with the home yeah. and to make some adjustments that were needed to bring the, the youth back and, and keep them home, right? Because ideally that, that's the situation. You bring a yeah. youth home and you're, they're able to remain at home safely, successfully. And um, this this position at Elmcrest opened up uh, back in the fall, and I had talked with their, their headhunter was actually the prior executive director. He was a prior executive director oh, wow. at Elmcrest, okay. and I started talking to him. Forty five minutes in, I'm like, we could talk for two more hours. <laughs> it piqued my interest, kind of yeah. brought me back full circle to that work that I did right out of school, working with children and the wonderful world of Elmcrest. There's the ability to obviously we do have placement for hard to place youth, but there's right. so much, so many services that we have that work with families and youth to prevent them from ever getting to where placement is needed yeah. uh, to keep the youth at home with their families and do the work with the, with mom, with dad, with the caretaker um, to keep them home. Are you a Syracuse native? Did, I am. Oh. I'm born and raised okay. in the Valley part of Syracuse. Oh, no, we my go. First, the show my, first, on, We're my first job was with Syracuse City Parks and Rec. Oh, so no I kidding. am for, born and raised, uh, first employer. Go ahead, Tom. I'm Syracuse 
Traverse City. You ready? What, what, what high school did you go to? What, what high school did you go to? I went to Nottingham. Okay. And then but I ended up graduating from Faith Heritage. So still, Valley oh, Park yeah, City School, yeah. Valley Park City. Because I grew Village. up in the Valley. Where did you go to school? Uh, well, I went to CBA, but then I ended up uh, finishing off at Corcoran. My so. brother graduated from Corcoran. Oh, and no my kidding. children are currently at CBA. Okay. Yeah. There, are, li- there are listeners, folks. So we should encourage them what, to. What year did you? <laughs> I'm still going. Okay. What year did your brother graduate? He graduated in 2004. Oh, okay. Well, Let's I, just I'm, mention Green Hills because that has to happen. Yeah. Donuts? Yeah. Where are the donuts? Okay. Uh, you yeah. didn't bring the donuts okay, in? Okay, we got my that. backyard. Fry? My backyard was literally Green Hills. Uh, yeah, that's where I grew up. So, yeah. Okay, let me bring the show down a okay. second. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Well, what is Elmcrest? Is that what well, you were going to well, say? I think I, yeah, I, I was yeah. going to say, is it hard? or sad working with folks when you can't make it all wonderful and reunited. Yeah. That's got to be a heart thing. That's going to be hard. It is a heart thing. And yeah. we have 550 plus employees at Elmcrest. Oh it's my a heart goodness. thing. It's a heart that. thing for each of them. Yeah. And what we focus in on, right, is how do we help? Our mission is helping children overcome barriers. What is the barrier they're experiencing right now? Mm -hmm. What is the barrier? It's gonna look different for every kid. It's gonna look different now than it did 20 years ago. It's gonna look different 20 years from now. What is the barrier they're experiencing today? Mm -hmm. How do we help them today overcome that barrier? And how do we give them some hope for tomorrow? What is Elmcrest? You know, like like if you you had to encapsulate it and give somebody a description, what is it? Yes, Elmcrest is a agency that has helped children overcome barriers since 1835. Those barriers, like I said, have looked different over the years. It initially started off, um, it was started by a church woman who wanted to help children, um, you know, underprivileged children receive an education. And over the years, it's turned into a placement for children, for hard to place youth um, who have been, you know, cannot remain with their caretaker. They are tough to place in the foster care system. We've been a residential provider for them. We have provided a host of services, including early education services. Um, Right now, our newest program is our mental health crisis respite. As you both know, the mental health crisis that our children and youth are in right now is like nothing we've ever seen. The numbers of kids having to go to CPAP or an emergency room for some type of psych emergency, mental health emergency, the numbers are are through the roof. So we've opened a mental health crisis respite, uh, two programs at the end of March and they're starting to see an impact on some of the utilization numbers at CPEP mm-hmm. and at Upstate. We're able to give kids, if you were able to come and visit our mental health crisis respite, you had mistaken it from, from one of my kids' bedrooms. Very home-like really? setting. Mm. They can stay there for 21 days and get mm. the help that they need. We try to keep their schedule as consistent as possible, school, sports, whatever, doctor's appointments they already have, but giving them the ability to hit a reset. What's one of the greatest, what would be a misconception of Elmcrest? People say, oh, I know, but they you ready don't for know. It? I'm ready for it. That's where the bad kids go. Mm. No. This is where kids can go and hit their own reset on life. They're able to get some skills, some supports in place to help them become to overcome their barriers, but also become contributing members of the community in which they're from. So it's not like Hillbrook. It's not like Hillbrook. Hillbrook is a secure detention. This is a place where we have cottages, a home-like setting where where kids Mm -hmm. can live, where they can go to school, and where they can learn some of the skills that it takes to build relationships, to manage their emotions. They're given the ability to go through therapy and work through some of the potential trauma that they've been through. Their kids sometimes are the worst, having the worst days of their life, and we're able yeah, to help no them kidding. in those worst days. I can hear the passion in, in the expression, sure. and uh, YouTube listeners can see that, that, that you're serious about making changes in children's lives. Mm-hmm. That, that's obvious. This is uh, apparently more than a job for you. This is yes. the way you're wired. I, I can see that. A hired calling. Well, thank you very much, Ruth Ann Raposa, right there, Executive Director of Elmcrest Children's Center. And thank you for what you do and your entire staff. Thanks. Yes. Okay. Coming up next, we're going to talk with Mark Bullis. He's the owner of Bull and Bear Roadhouse right here on the local show on 570 WSYR.